Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Final Fantasy Tactics playthrough series. It is great to be here and I hope you're doing well today, folks. So on the docket today, we have a story battle, maybe two, but definitely one, Yardo Fort City. So we're going to pop on in uh, real quick to highlight a few changes. Uh, so Colden the Lancer is rocking the German ass boots. I need his jump to be five. And then Rivaldi the Ninja also has catch. And you will see why shortly here. So let's pop on into Yardo Fort City and get popping. And like I said, if we have enough time, we will, of course, extend this episode into Yaguo Woods as well. But let's tackle Yardo first and foremost here. Alright, so uh, Rivaldi. Let's put Rivaldi like so. Let's get Stouty involved. Of course, Roxy and then Colden as well. And what's going on in Yardo Fort City? Well, we're going to find out here. Alright, so we have two new characters here. Well, we've seen the exotic wizard before. And he says, you know what you're saying. You're the one who does it. We're not tools, tools for murder. And that is, of course, Rafa. If we stay there, we'll be used as tools till we die. Come on, Malak. Let's escape together. So now we know that this fellow is named Malak. Who helped us when we lost our parents in the war? If Grand Duke hadn't saved us, we'd have starved. He cared about us. Now you're returning the favor with vengeance? You've been deceived. Barrington took advantage of war and burned the village. Why? To get the family skills of only our family knows. He burned a village to get my heaven skill and your hell skill. He killed our parents, don't you see? Yikes. That's ridiculous. You know what he did. What he did to me. I know you know. Some suggestive stuff there, folks. Don't say any more, otherwise I... So here you are, Malak. He'll be here soon. I know, it's all set. Kind of feels like another ambush here, doesn't it, folks? Malak. And our little party shows up here. Here he comes, Heretic Ramza. Rafa. Rafa needs some help. Well, luckily, the A squad shows up here. You're in good hands here, Rafa. All right, so this battle commences here. And of course, we have both, both Rafa and Malak on the field here. And let's just get a quick peek at Rafa. So she is a Heaven Knight. That is a unique class. So the Heaven Knight is an assassin who controls the laws of nature, buries her enemies with the forbidden spell Truth. And Truth is her unique job command here. Heaven Knight job command attacks with non-faith based powers. It actually can be a pretty strong skill set, but leaves a lot to chance. There's certain kind of niche areas to really use it and make it super powerful. But you get that with both Rafa and Malak. And Malak is of course the counterpart, the Hell Knight, assassin who controls the laws of nature, his untruth has the opposite effect of the Heaven Knight's Truth. And of course, Untruth as well. So that's what we're looking at. We also have a bit of ninja presence in this one, right? So we have a ninja rocking two ninja edges. So that is a sword that is unavailable to us right now. Might be good to keep Masahiro alive and get those stolen. Another ninja edge there. That's a very strong weapon with 12 attack power. We got Little John. And of course, two uh, pretty scary summoners as well with their magic attack boosted. So we have our work cut out for us here. And of course, we have to save Rafa. So if Rafa does fall, she is toast. She has high faith at 69 there. And yeah, we just got to keep her upright. So I'm going to meet shield this up. And we're going to get Rivaldi just right in the doorway here. We don't want the ninjas running up on Rafa and getting a hit. So let's throw a fireball at... Malak here. And we miss. Alright, so coming up for some up close and personal contact here in Rivaldi Falls. You can see the strength of that ninja edge, right? My goodness. And of course, ninjas, you know, they cover a lot of ground. They, they throw stuff. I mean, a really challenging enemy. No matter how you dice it up, of course, the one thing that works against them is their low HP. 
but they have high speed, they can throw, they can output a ton of damage. Pretty scary units to face off against, especially in numerals of three, right? So we have Malak here, what's he gonna do? He's just gonna kinda hang out. So Roxy... We can do two things here, we can try to kinda buff up Rafa. We could go on the offensive, I do have short charge on Roxy here. Or we can try to get a raise too on Rivaldi. I think we gotta get Rivaldi back up, he does steal for us and he's our speed presence on the field. So 54% chance. And a 61% chance. I'm going to roll the dice here with the raise too. Let's go. And we have Ramza. You, you're that man. You're supposed to be waiting at Ryo Vane's castle. That was what Grand Duke said. I'll prove we can beat you without the Shrine Knights. Yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, so... Badoom here. All right, so black magic here. Let's see. Where are the opportunities? So obviously we have the, the, the two summoners going next. We've got Stouty going as well. It would be great to kind of... I mean, do you just kind of go all in and just flare one of these ninjas? Let's see what kind of damage it does. 355, my goodness. Alright, yeah, let's uh let's do that. Let's do that. We gotta get these ninjas out of here, otherwise they're gonna pick us apart. So let's do that with Ramza here. And then we have Colden, and the reason I wanted to get the German ass boots on him is it takes five jump to get up on this wall here. And with the German ass boots, he of course can scale right over the wall. Very useful to us. So this ninja has been spoken for already. So let's get him on up and over here. So 88 to Malak there. Or 132 on the jump. Where's Malak going? He's got a, some turns yet. I'm going to chance it. Let's do it. All right, Stouty, what do you say we get a golem down? Hopefully the raise two does hit here. 54% chance. Do we get it? And we do. Very nice. And now golem's going to come down and just give that kind of all-around physical protection. All right, working out nicely here. Got Little John, Magic Shuriken, Golem blocks that, but of course Rivaldi has catch on. So this is the individual we need to steal from. I think this is a good opportunity to try to steal. 28% chance, let's go. Just missed, that's alright. Let's keep him right in the doorway. And here comes a Flare. This is going to completely eradicate this ninja here. A thermal explosion just takes him out. And down comes Colden as well. Strong hit on Malak there. And this actually might be enough. Yep. Darn, I hate retreating like this. And he teleports away. And leaves his soldiers to do his bidding. Alright, so we do have Golem in effect here. So Golem rejects that, but... Rivaldi does take another really hefty hit here. Rafa just runs, that is okay with me. I prefer that, actually. Alright, Rivaldi, how, how are you doing? He's not doing good. Alright, let's see if we can get... Oh yeah, we can get a cure 4 down on him, actually. So let's do that. If anybody else wants to join in on the cure party, you certainly can. Alright, Ramza, let's see. What's the charge time looking like? It's not great. And we can't individually target any one of these folks here. Alright, let's just wait. 
We do have cold in here. I like the idea of him trying to get on these summoners. It's either that or we're looking at a chakra on Ramza here. Let's get him on the summoners. Heavy hit there by Colden. Very nice. Alright, Cure 4 coming down. The ultimate heal spell right here. 279 health restoration on Ramza. And the summoner is obviously going to come up. Our units are nice and bunched up there. That is a tactical issue for sure. I think we can stave off one hit. Let's go for the weapon steal again. Alright, we do miss. So let's move Rivaldi over a little bit. Got a Moogle coming in. Alright, little John. Is he going to be bold enough to take on Colden? He will here. Heavy hits. But the counterattack does uh, hit there. So that's good. We have a Shiva coming in. This is not good for our high faith characters. In fact, this is going to do some damage. Yeah, 169 to Ramza. My goodness. Alright, Masahiro... Is likely going to get a kill. He's going for Rivaldi here. Rivaldi, get some dodge. Let's go. You gotta dodge. Alright, can we frog this guy? What are the chances we could actually get the frog off? 45% chance. We're gonna take it. And Roxy again is relegated to... I mean, we're looking at... Restoration. The trick is we have to keep them alive to get the steals off, right? We want those ninja edges. But he also continues to kill our units. Alright, let's get a raise up. Hopefully that frog hits. We'll certainly see. Let's go, Roxy. Alright, very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, Frog. 45% chance. Let's go. Get it. And we got it. Very, very nice. Just really good stuff going on here now. Okay, so with Ramza, let's, let's be careful, of course. I think uh, blasting down the summoner here. 67 faith. She should take a decent amount of damage, except for she is wearing the white robe here. So that's going to half fire, lightning, and ice. So that is going to stunt the damage that Ramza is going to be able to do here with the spell. But I think you kind of got to do it. So let's do that and, and move back as well. Alright, now... Let's get the weapon steal. Let's go. Alright, we missed, but the threat has been uh, greatly neutralized. Given he's a frog. Alright, little John is going to just be beaten up on Colden here, and Colden's gonna fall. The ninjas are no joke here, folks. They're no joke. Alright, 69, a modest hit. Hopefully there's no way to restore his status. Alright, Charlene is getting bold here. Depending on charge time, this might not be good. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, so two Shivas coming down. Roxy can get a cure off. A simple cure. So let's do that.
And then we're going to have to get over that wall or through the gate here and get uh, Colden raised up as well. All right, we got Stouty. What about a little physical attack here, Stouty? We kind of need to do it. He's got the Wizard Rod. I mean, it's probably not going to kill. At least he can get out of the Blast Radius. Unfortunately, that's going to kill the frog, man. I prefer not to kill the frog, right? So who's going next? We got Rivaldi going next. So Rivaldi can surely take out that ninja, or sorry, the, the summoner. All right, so let's let's do this. Okay, white robe, full HP. Is there a way to hit the summoner and not the frog? There is. It's only going to do 73. That's going to do 244, 321. That must be a very high faith ninja there. But is he going to go Masahiro? Yes, he will go. Yeah, all right. So let's do this. Let's get Odin drop down on Summoner here. I'm going to trust the frog to move. Get out of here. Alright, Rivaldi. Nice kill there. Gonna get one spell down on us, but let's see kind of who it hits. It's definitely gonna hit Ramza. Ramza and Stouty, but we're still upright, which is good. Alright, Masahiro. Yes, run for your life. Good. Alright, we got Little John coming back up. All right, so we got to get Roxy. Yeah, she's got to get through the doorway here. Let's just kind of wait back here with Ramza. All right, Roxy. Rivaldi's going next. Does he need healing? He needs a little bit. All right, let's go, Odin. Cut up the summoner here. I love that summon. It's an awesome, awesome... Uh, Animation there. Alright, let's get some cure. Rivaldi, go and take out little John. Then let's get Roxy up. Let's get Colden revived. Let's go. With authority there, Rivaldi. Way to go. Alright, Masahiro. He's going to melee attack. That's quite okay. All right, let's go get our fallen soldier revived here. All right, let's see if we can get down a ferry on Ramza.
And let's climb the wall. Alright, Rivaldi. Now, let's do what we've always intended to do here. Let's steal the weapon. Let's go. In fact, if we can get both of these stolen before Colden needs to be revived, that's an angle. Alright, 61%. Let's go. I don't like relying so heavily on, you know, sub-70% chance hits, but... It's what we have to do. It's how our team is built. Just a monstrous heal there. 370. Alright, let's go, Roxy. You've been 2 for 2 on the raises. Let's go 3 for 3. Let's go. Alright, very, very nice. Alright, now let's keep Colden far away from the frog because... Don't want him to counterattack for the kill. All right, punch out chakra. Let's go. And also, uh, we need Rafa to stay away from the frog as well, so we can steal the ninja swords. So she's going to get ag aggressive now after spending the entire time in the corner of the map. Let's see if maybe we could frog her. We cannot. All right. We're going to have to be quick here. There we go. We got one. Ninja Edge. Very nice. Good job, Rivaldi. You deserve a praise. <laughs> but it missed. Sometimes uh, praises go unheard here, folks. Get a holy miter there. Be nice to just kind of wall Masahiro in. But now we're going to need four units to do so. And here comes Rafa. Nope, she's going to fade away. Great. That's what we needed. Alright, let's use a little chakra. It's not often that uh, Colden, you know, loses the battle, right? But yeah, he got taken out. He got taken out in a big way by that ninja. Shows you the, the sheer strength of those ninjas. Alright, Rivaldi, let's go. Let's get this weapon here. Let's get a little praise. There we go. Very nice. Roxy's useful talk skill here. Alright, little John dropping the treasure box. Spike shoes. We'll take it. Alright, Rivaldi. Let's do it right this time. Let's get it. 45% chance. Let's go. Missed again. Little chakra. Alright, Rafa. Just... Stay away. Let me handle this. Praises to Rivaldi. Move Stoudy in place here to receive a chakra. Get some of that MP back. And again, let's try to steal this weapon. 
Just not quite. Alright, he's walled in now. Okay, we have a treasure, treasure box there and a, a crystal. Let's go for the treasure box. Let's do a chakra quick here first. Saudi grinding some MP there. I think ideally you get that with Ramza. The crystal, that is. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's secure the bag. Come on now. Boost that faith. You bet. Anybody need a bit of healing? Yeah, we could use a bit of healing. So I can't imagine this uh, this ninja still being in ninja form, right? Just just two sorting us, just over and over and over. Would have made this battle really, really challenging, right? But we got the frog off, and keep in mind it was a, what, 45% hit chance, right? So, sometimes it's worth just rolling the dice, for sure. Roxy is low-key the MVP in this one with the three raises, you know, all sub 70%. Okay, Rafa wants nothing to do with this, and I'm okay with that. Let's see, can we get a Mimic Derivan? We can certainly try. Oh yeah, Roxy is just the low hit percent chance queen here. Just doing work. Alright, that should expedite the stealing process. Let's get some abilities. We get a Shiva. Very nice. We will certainly take it. Alright, Rivaldi... Doesn't get much easier than this. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do I gotta change you back into a thief? Rivaldi, seriously, man. Do better. Stouty wants you to do better. <laughs> In fact, if Rafa gets in here after all this time and kills this frog before I'm able to steal that ninja edge, I'm going to be pretty upset about that. All right. Everybody watches as Rivaldi tries to lift a sword from a frog, and he finally does. Here at the ripe 29 minute mark. Not complaining, we'll take it, we'll take it. Alright, who wants to do the honors here? Holy Miter Judo outfit. I think for Roxy it's probably more important to get the talk skill continuously rolling here. Just hitting with good clips here in this one. Roxy, you are the MVP. I will feature you in the thumbnail. Let's go. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so a victory here at Yardo Fort City. Ramza inquires about the all-rightness of Rafa. Are you all right? 
Yes, thank you. I... If they return, we're in trouble. Let's hide. Let's hide. Let's take the fight to them. Let's go. Congratulations. The battle is complete. And what do we uh, bag here? 15k. Very nice. Bonus 2000 in uh, Yagyu Darkness and the Holy Water. Very nice. All right. So overall, a big success there in that particular fight. Now we're going to hear a little bit more from Rafa. Barrington wants only one thing, to be the king. They call him Weapon King for making strong weapons and training many wizards. There is one who incites the Grand Duke, that is of the royal family. Killing Larg and Goltana set the stage for him to become a regent. Why do you keep fighting being branded a heretic? I think I know why, but nobody will thank you for beating him. I'm not fighting for thanks. I'm fighting for honor and pride as a bolve. That's a lie. You aren't that noble. You can't ignore injustice or evil in front of you. You flatter me. I'm not that good. But what are you going to do? I must go to Ryle Veins to save Alma. But you barely escaped from there, right? I must get my brother out. Why are you two fighting? We're 50-year war orphans. I'll never forget those days looking through garbage and dead bodies for food. That's when Barrington saved us. I believed in God then. Barrington built orphanages for the war orphans. But he provided training to gifted children to be professional assassins. You must be one of those children. We, Gal Galthanis, have secret skills of the family. My heaven skill and my brother's hell skill. These two skills differ from magic. Barrington wanted them, but the family elder refused him, so he burned the village. He decided if he couldn't have them, he'd erase them from this world. He probably was excited when he found us among the orphans. You tried to escape when you found out the truth. We yearned for him to be like our real father, but even then... Voice of Malak, so this is where you were hiding. This guy again. Malik. And <laughs> he's a frog. <laughs> Voice of Malik. Listen, Ramza. Hurry to Ryalvane's castle, or your sister will be dead. If you touch Alma, I'll show no mercy. Rafa, you're coming too. Resist, and Ramza's sister will die because of you. It's not fair. They have nothing to do with us. This is not a warning, it's an order. Alright, thanks, frog Malik that explodes. Exploding Frog, Malik. Let's go, Ramza. Sorry, Rafa. You had to do this because of us. It's not your fault. Don't worry. Alright, so the pressure is building up here, folks. Ryo Vane's castle is, of course, the target. But standing in our way is one more story battle. We're going to take that on in the next episode here. This one went on a little longer than I anticipated. But next up, we have Yaguo Woods. But before we get into that, let's check out the shop here. Yardo, Fort City, Wizard Rod, Gold Staff. Got the Goku Rod here. Golden Hairpin. Plus 80 HP and 50 MP. Cancel Silence. That kind of feels like exactly what we need. And we also have the Black Robe, which will strengthen Elemental Magic. Okay, so, and sprint shoes as well. These are plus one speed. Very nice. And, and the bracer as well. Okay. Which is, of course, $50,000. My goodness. Very strong item there. And it does plus three physical attack, which is crazy. Okay, so we're going to have some work to do here. Some gill to gain, right? Because we have a, a big test here at Ryalvane's Castle. And we're going to need to make sure that everybody is outfitted to the best of their abilities. And the Ninja Edge here, folks, plus two weapon attack increase. So that's why we wanted to steal it. It makes Rivaldi even that more lethal. I guess let's take a look at the skills here quick. Might as well. For Rafa, let's remove her uh, equipment. 
And Colvin the, the Lancer here. Let's just take a quick peek. 692. You can get vertical jump 5. Let's do that. Very nice. Ramza the Samurai. Well, first off, for the Lancer, I think Dragon Spirit is a great one to get. So let's get Dragon Spirit. And we're going to save up for Blade Grasp for Ramza. For Rivaldi. Can learn a few more throws here, so let's just kind of take it from the top. All relatively cheap, and again, he can learn Dragon Spirit. So we'll certainly do that. Uh, Roxy the Priest. Bunch of JP here at over a thousand, so let's get re-raise. And she is uh, close to mastering out the Priest class there. Uh, for the Lancer, again, Dragon Spirit. And let's actually throw that right on. Even though she has the Shantage, that's okay. A uh, Stouty the Summoner, 844. A Cyclops, Sally. Let's get Salamander. And that's going to about do it. So we have some shopping to do, absolutely. Got to raise some funds. Might do a few random battles uh, kind of off video here just to raise some funds. So we can make the necessary purchases. Definitely want to get... I mean... If I was smart, I'd get two bracers. Right? So that's 100k. And then some golden hairpins and some black robes as well. Don't necessarily need three black robes, but... Definitely want some black robes. The golden hairpin is also useful with the plus 50 MP. I mean, if we compare it to the miter here, plus 20, right? So... We're constantly running out of MP. I think it makes sense to get some hairpins as well. So I'm going to have a little bit of battling to do to get the appropriate cash to make some purchases. But I'll do that off camera. And then the next episode will, of course, be Yagua Woods. So with that said, folks, I'm going to be cutting the episode here. I do appreciate your viewership. If you are enjoying the Final Fantasy Tactics playthrough here on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. We'd we'll love to have you in the community. Let me know what you're liking about this playthrough series in, in the comment section. What do you think of Rafa and Malik as usable characters? I personally, I mean, I think they're kind of niche, right? But let me know your thoughts. And with that said, thank you so much, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.